The Connecticut Colony or Colony of Connecticut, originally known as the Connecticut River Colony or simply the River Colony, was an English colony in North America that became the state of Connecticut. It was organized on March 3, 1636 as a settlement for a Puritan congregation, and the English permanently gained control of the region in 1637 after struggles with the Dutch. The colony was later the scene of a bloody war between the colonists and Pequot Indians known as the Pequot War. Connecticut Colony played a significant role in the establishment of self-government in the New World with its refusal to surrender local authority to the Dominion of New England, an event known as the Charter Oak Incident which occurred at Jeremy Adams Inn and Tavern. Two other English settlements in the state of Connecticut were merged into the Colony of Connecticut, Saybrook Colony in 1644 and New Haven Colony in 1662. Topic. Leaders. Governor John Haynes of the Massachusetts Bay Colony led 100 people to Hartford in 1636. He and Puritan minister Thomas Hooker are often considered the founders of the Connecticut Colony. Hooker delivered a sermon to his congregation on May 31, 1638 on the principles of government, and it influenced those who wrote the Fundamental Orders of Connecticut later that year. The fundamental orders may have been drafted by Roger Ludlow of Windsor, the only trained lawyer living in Connecticut in the 1630s. They were transcribed into the official record by Secretary Thomas Wells. The Rev. John Davenport and Merchant Theophilus Eaton led the founders of the New Haven Colony, which was absorbed into Connecticut Colony in the 1660s. In the colony's early years, the governor could not serve consecutive terms, so the governorship rotated for 20 years between John Haynes and Edward Hopkins, both of whom were from Hartford. George Willis, Thomas Wells, and John Webster, also Hartford men, sat in the governor's chair for brief periods in the 1640s and 1650s. John Winthrop the Younger of New London was the son of the founder of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and he played an important role in consolidating separate settlements into a single colony on the Connecticut River. He also served as governor of Connecticut from 1659 to 1675, and he was instrumental in obtaining the colony's 1662 charter which incorporated New Haven into Connecticut. His son Fitz John Winthrop also governed the colony for ten years starting in 1698. Major John Mason was the military leader of the early colony. He was the commander in the Pequot War, a magistrate, and the founder of Windsor, Saybrook, and Norwich. He was also deputy governor under Winthrop. Roger Ludlow was an Oxford-educated lawyer and former deputy governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. He petitioned the General Court for rights to settle the area, and he led the March Commission in settling disputes over land rights. He is credited as drafting the Fundamental Orders of Connecticut 1650 in collaboration with Hooker, Winthrop, and others. He was also the first deputy governor of Connecticut. William Leed of Guilford served as governor of New Haven Colony before its merger into Connecticut, and he also served as governor of Connecticut following Winthrop's death in 1675. He is the only man to serve as governor of both New Haven and Connecticut. Robert Treat of Milford served as governor of the colony, both prior to and after its inclusion in the Dominion of New England under Sir Edmund Andros. His father Richard Treat was one of the original patentees of the colony. Roger Walcott was a weaver, statesman, and politician from Windsor, and he served as governor from 1751 to 1754. Oliver Walcott was a signer of the Declaration of Independence and also of the Articles of Confederation, as a representative of Connecticut and the 19th Governor. He was a major general for the Connecticut Militia in the Revolutionary War serving under George Washington. <inaudible> Religion The original colonies along the Connecticut River and in New Haven were established by separatist Puritans who were connected with the Massachusetts and Plymouth colonies. They held Calvinist religious beliefs similar to the English Puritans, but they maintained that their congregations needed to be separated from the English state church. They had emigrated to New England during the Great Migration. <laughs> Economic and social history The economy began with subsistence farming in the 17th century and developed with greater diversity and an increased focus on production for distant markets, especially the British colonies in the Caribbean. 
The American Revolution cut off imports from Britain and stimulated a manufacturing sector that made heavy use of the entrepreneurship and mechanical skills of the people. In the second half of the 18th century, difficulties arose from the shortage of good farmland, periodic money problems, and downward price pressures in the export market. In agriculture, there was a shift from grain to animal products. The colonial government attempted to promote various commodities as export items from time to time, such as hemp, potash, and lumber, in order to bolster its economy and improve its balance of trade with Great Britain. Connecticut's domestic architecture included a wide variety of house forms. They generally reflected the dominant English heritage and architectural tradition. See also History of the Connecticut Constitution Connecticut Western Reserve History of Springfield, Massachusetts Further reading Andrews, Charles M. The Colonial Period of American History, The Settlements, Vol. 2 1936, pp. 67–194, by leading scholar Atwater, Edward Elias 1881. History of the Colony of New Haven to its Absorption into Connecticut, Author, to 1664 Burpee, Charles W. The Story of Connecticut 4 Vol. 1939, Detailed Narrative in Vol. 1–2 Clark, George Larkin. A History of Connecticut, Its People and Institutions 1914-608 pp, based on solid scholarship online Federal Writers Project. Connecticut, A Guide to Its Roads, Lore, and People 1940, Famous WPA Guide to History and to All the Towns Online Fraser, Bruce. Land of Steady Habits, A Brief History of Connecticut 1988, 80 pp, from State Historical Society Hollister, Gideon Hiram 1855. The History of Connecticut, From the First Settlement of the Colony to the Adoption of the Present Constitution. Dury and Peck, Vol. 1-1740s Jones, Mary Jean Anderson. Congregational Commonwealth, Connecticut, 1636-1662 Roth, David M. and Freeman Meyer. From Revolution to Constitution, Connecticut, 1763-1818 Series in Connecticut History 1975-111 pp Sanford, Elias Benjamin 1887. A History of Connecticut, Very Old Textbook, Strongest on Military History, and Schools Taylor, Robert Joseph. Colonial Connecticut, A History 1979, Standard Scholarly History Trumbull, Benjamin 1818. Complete History of Connecticut, Civil and Ecclesiastical, Very Old History, to 1764 Van Dusen, Albert E. Connecticut A Fully Illustrated History of the State from the 17th Century to the Present 1961-470 pp The Standard Survey to 1960, by a leading scholar Van Dusen, Albert E. Puritans Against the Wilderness, Connecticut History to 1763 Series in Connecticut History 150 pp. 1975 Zeichner, Oscar. Connecticut's Years of Controversy, 1750-1776 1949 <laughs> Specialized Studies Buell, Richard, Jr. Dear Liberty, Connecticut's Mobilization for the Revolutionary War 1980, Major Scholarly Study Bushman, Richard L. 1970. From Puritan to Yankee, Character and the Social Order in Connecticut, 1690-1765. Harvard University Press. Collier, Christopher. Roger Sherman's Connecticut, Yankee Politics and the American Revolution 1971. Daniels, Bruce Collin. The Connecticut Town, Growth and Development, 1635-1790 Wesleyan University Press, 1979 Daniels, Bruce C. Democracy and Oligarchy in Connecticut Town's General Assembly Office Holding, 1701-1790 Social Science Quarterly 1975-56 No. 3 pp. 460-475. Fennelly, Catherine. Connecticut Women in the Revolutionary Era Connecticut Bicentennial Series 1975-60 pp Grant, Charles S. Democracy in the Connecticut Frontier Town of Kent 1970 Hooker, Roland Mather. 
The Colonial Trade of Connecticut 1936 online 44 pp Lambert Edward Rodolphus 1838 History of the Colony of New Haven before and after the union with Connecticut containing a particular description of the towns which composed that government viz New Haven Milford Guilford Brantford Stamford and Southold LI with a notice of the towns which have been set off from the original 6 Hitchcock and Stafford Maine Jackson Turner Connecticut Society in the Era of the American Revolution pamphlet in the Connecticut Bicentennial Series 1977, Pearson, George Wilson. History of Yale College Volume 1, 1952 Scholarly History Selesky Harold E. War and Society in Colonial Connecticut 1990-278 pp. Taylor, John M. The Witchcraft Delusion in Colonial Connecticut, 1647–1697 online Trumbull, James Hammond 1886. The Memorial History of Hartford County, Connecticut, 1633–1884. E. L. Osgood, 700 pp topic Historiography Daniels, Bruce C. Antiquarians and Professionals, The Historians of Colonial Connecticut, Connecticut History 1982, 23 No. 1, pp 81–97. Meyer, Freeman W. The Evolution of the Interpretation of Economic Life in Colonial Connecticut, Connecticut History 1985-26 No. 1 pp 33-43. Topic references topic Bibliography topic External links Published Colonial Records topic Archival Collections Guide to the Connecticut Colony Land Deeds Special Collections and Archives, the UC Irvine Libraries, Irvine, California Topic. Other Colonial Connecticut Records, The Public Records of the Colony of Connecticut, 1636–1776 Colonial Connecticut Town Nomenclature Connecticut Constitutionalism, 1639–1789 Timeline of Colonial Connecticut History <laughs>